we couldn't quite finish the greenhouse as planned. So my husband went back to work and I finished the build alone. Number 87. I have a greenhouse. Mid-April 2024. It had been a stormy night, but the greenhouse stood strong. Apparently, it looked pretty bad. Two neighbors considered calling me. Neither did. Luckily, it was all good. I needed to get this thing closed and fixed before the winds got worse. I didn't like the time pressure. The wind kept catching in the panels and I was reminded of the time crunch to finish the roof last fall. At least then I knew the whole house wouldn't fly away if caught by the wind. Peppa found a spot a bit out of the wind and enjoyed the sunshine. But one after the other, the roof panels went in and the structure felt more resilient. And I kind of have a great house. It is the cheapest kind of plastic. It's loud in the wind, but I think it's gonna work and hold up. So I'm gonna finish this thing, hopefully before it falls apart, and then we're gonna see how well it works. With every screw I tightened, the greenhouse felt less flimsy. But I was scared by how easily I could move it. The door and window were hardest to build, because the manual was especially bad for those. Even after finishing the build, I still don't know what the sketches are supposed to show. This, by the way, is not the right way. I had to take one part off and turn it the next day. My neighbor used to build these things in his job. He helped me put in the window. Probably a good thing. I'm proud to report, however, that I did finish the door by myself, and I only had to take it apart a few times. The manual certainly didn't instruct me. Common sense, trial and error are what got this built. As I was building this, I dreamed about the greenhouse I'd build if I was staying here for longer. I'm in my greenhouse and the only thing missing is a window. I tightened all the bolts and nuts before going home that day. I was exhausted. No way would I get that window in before I went home. Later that day, I quickly walked Pepper, but otherwise called it a day. The next day. I knew I only had hours until I'd be in pain. I would be getting my period that day and knew I didn't have long before I'd need to rest. My neighbor had helped me put in the window and secure the greenhouse that morning. Later, I returned for a last minute task and found chickens in my garden. It's starting to rain, so yes, there are chicken in my garden, but I need to get my rent collection system up, and urgently. So let's get to that. I had already gone home for the day, but the storm was promising rain, so I decided to return. The greenhouse came with a simple rain collection system. We happened to have the perfect hose at home. It was a leftover piece from the aquariums. Somehow it fit perfectly. It was even enough for both barrels. 
Very carefully, I cut the holes into two halves. I'm paranoid about these blades, so it takes a bit longer than it needs to. Okay, first sight is up, second sight's coming now. The first raindrops were falling as I was finishing up the second side. Around me, those with animals arrived to close up or send the kids instead. The rain is here and the rainwater collection system is up. I mean, I still have to do the feet and hats, but this project finished just before the rain. The fence is clearly not chicken proof. Luckily, mine will be. But until I start planting, these could stay here. Animals make me happy. The barrels will get lit, otherwise this is done. On my balcony, the blackberries were slowly recovering from their travels and enjoying the water the rain brought. The chives were blooming. Yay, the volunteer green is happy. Yes, I'm totally getting wet for these. The dandelion buds I'd collected in the garden were dry, so I plucked them for tea. I got a jar each with dried purple dead nettle and dandelion buds. So long and thanks for being here. And now there's a hail. If you want to support the channel, go to rootsandcalluses.com slash support. The link's also on the screen and in the description. Thank you all for being here.